the joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who encounter Jesus. Those who accept his offer of salvation are set free from sin, sorrow, inner emptiness, and loneliness. With Christ, joy is constantly born anew. With these words from his apostolic exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium, Pope Francis calls us to embark upon a new chapter of evangelization marked by this joy. Pope Francis proclaims once again the mission of the Church to help those who are brokenhearted so they can find everlasting joy in Christ through the sacraments, through service, and through prayer. Before we can help others, we must first experience the joy of the gospel for ourselves. We must encounter Jesus and be in relationship with him. Like the disciples on the way to Emmaus, we have a chance to walk with Jesus, to talk with him, and to know him as our savior and source of true joy. Then our hearts will burn within us. Every day, we are graced with the opportunity to encounter God and grow as disciples of his son, Jesus. St. Ignatius Loyola gave us a tool a special prayer, the daily examine, to help us look at our day, at our journey. The daily examine helps us discover and embrace those holy encounters that have taken place in expected and unexpected ways, in the ordinary and the extraordinary moments of our day, in the familiar and in the unknown, close to home and on the peripheries, in the deep of our hearts, and in the encuentro with each other. A prayer of gratitude for these sacred moments. The Daily Examine invites us to say gracias, thank you, and to share the joy that is inexorably linked to that thankfulness for time we've spent alone and for time we've spent with others. This prayer is a tool you can use every day. Many pray it before bedtime. The Daily Examine also helps us recognize moments where God extended an invitation to deepen our friendship with Him, and we, for whatever reason, chose not to accept. The Examine calls us to be disciples renewed in Christ and to begin again tomorrow as the missionary disciples He calls us to be. Let us pray the Examine now. Become aware of God's presence. Know that at each moment of the day today, you were accompanied by the Holy Spirit. Relax as you become more aware that you are with God, and don't be worried if any part of your day seems confusing to you. Ask God to help you see your life clearly as you settle into prayer. Review your day with gratitude. Gratitude is the foundation of our relationship with God. Walk through your day in the presence of God. Note its joys and delights. Now, focus on the gifts God gave you today. Look at the work you did, what you learned at school, or the ministry or service you provided. Think about the people you encounter. What goodness did you receive from these people? What did you give them? Pay attention to small things, the food you ate, the sights you saw, and other seemingly small pleasures. Remember that God is in the details. Pay attention to your emotions. One of St. Ignatius' great insights was that we detect the presence of the Spirit of God in the movements of our emotions. So, think about feelings you experience during the day. At any time, do you feel a sense of boredom, elation, resentment, compassion, anger, mercy, confidence? Center of one of the feelings that keeps coming up for you. What do you think God is saying through these feelings? With this examination of emotions, think about a way in which you may have fallen short. 
make note of this sin or fault. Ask God's forgiveness and strength to do better in the coming day. Now, look deeply for other emotions. Does a feeling of frustration, perhaps, mean that God wants you to consider a new direction to solve a problem? Are you concerned about a friend or family member? Ask the Holy Spirit to direct you to something during the day that God thinks is particularly important. It may involve a feeling, positive or negative. It may be a significant encounter with another person or a vivid moment of pleasure or peace. Or it may be something that seems rather insignificant. Look at it with an open heart. Now pray about it. Allow the prayer to arise spontaneously from your heart, whether intercession, praise, repentance, or gratitude. Take some time now to pray. Look toward tomorrow. Ask God to give you light for tomorrow's challenges. Pay attention to the feelings that surface as you survey what's coming up. Are you doubtful? Cheerful? Apprehensive? Full of delighted anticipation? Allow these feelings to turn into prayer. Seek God's guidance. Ask Him for help and understanding and pray for hope. St. Ignatius encouraged people to talk to Jesus as honestly as they would a friend. So now, end the daily examine with a conversation with Jesus. Ask forgiveness for your sins. Ask for His protection and help. Ask for his wisdom about the questions you have and the problems you face. Do all this in the spirit of gratitude. Your life is a gift, and it is adorned with gifts from God. Let us close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. When we live and practice our faith in its fullness, as St. Ignatius did, we can begin to recognize God's presence in each moment, so we are better able to proclaim and spread the joy of the Gospel with everyone we encounter. May your efforts on this fifth encuentro bring hope and joy to others as you listen for the Word of God and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit in the Church. Through your efforts and under the protection of Our Lady of Guadalupe, may people come to faith in the risen Christ and in the promises of His reign of justice, love, and peace. In the spirit of St. Ignatius, Loyola Press wishes you abundant blessings during the fifth encuentro and beyond.